Hey what's up this is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to widen the stereo field so you can create a bigger and more dynamic final mix. I have two audio tracks here and they're the same performance, same exact performance. I just copied one and pasted it on another audio track and I've hard panned them left and right. So let's just listen to these now as they are. So now even though these are panned hard and hard right and left, they still sound very mono. So what I'm going to do is show you how to create this offset to cr create a wider stereo field. So first thing you want to do is make sure the AZ button over here in the corner is enabled. And then you want to go to your nudge value over here on the top and change it to, you know, depending on your track, what you need. But for me, I'm going to choose one millisecond because you could get very precise nudges, nudge values with that and precise offsets. So the buttons you want to use are the greater than and less than buttons. So let me zoom in a little bit here on, you know, the greater and less than buttons on your keyboard. And so the less than it moves it forward in time and the greater than moves the region back in time. So I'm going to move this or offset this one that I have highlighted here 10 milliseconds. So as you can see up in my transport window, 10 milliseconds right there. So now let's listen to this with the offset. So it's hard to tell because you can't compare. So what I've done is I bounced the tracks with and without the offset. So uh, first I'll play without and then I'll play with the offset. So just pay attention to the stereo field and how it's different. So here's with the offset. Like it almost even sounds louder too, which is really cool. I'll try to switch through them in real time so you could also hear the difference. You can always get in touch with Justin at WinkSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at WinkSound.com.